Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Social Distancing Diary with Baseball Cards. All right, today we are sticking with my non-Dodgers vintage binder and showing off some of my favorite cards that I keep in my binders. Let's get to it, shall we? Beginning with the Sultan of Swat. Now, of course, a guy on my budget, I can't yet have, uh, you know, authentic Babe Ruth card. Not yet. So um, I've got a lot of tribute cards, though. And um, let's take a look at what we have. This, one of my smallest Babe Ruths, but one of my favorites. I love this card card which is actually a sticker i love the backdrop of the flag the all-american baseball kid the babe this is a great little card this is what the back of it looks like uh once again you know forgive me for not remembering the years of a lot of these i'm just not that good at memory <laughs> and um i just don't it's not that important to me to hold in my memory what year this card is. That's a 52, that's a 68. You know, and that's not that important to me. It's all about the picture, the design, what's happening on the card. That's what's important to me. So here we have a Babe Ruth, a reprint of a, ca of a card game that they used to have. And I got this. Now, most of these cards that I've got 50, 60% maybe, have come from trades with all of my wonderful baseball card trading partners through the years and just the generosity of folks who send me things. So thanks a lot. This is also a little bit of a thanks to show, hey, you might see this video and say, I sent him that card. And well, you can see it became one of my favorites that I keep in my binder. This is another great shot here, okay? Classic Babe Ruth at the plate after a swing. And it's got his birthday on here, I believe, yep. So there's a Babe Ruth birthday card. I love this one, all right? Moving on, uh, this one is from the Babe Ruth collection, uh, Mega Cards, the folks who had the uh, Conlin, I think they're Conlin photographs, baseball photographs. They ran Babe Ruth uh, exclusive uh, set. And here we have the Sultan of Swat. What's interesting is that um, there's no number on the Babe there. So I guess maybe what? I'm not sure what. Unlicensed uh, to MLB. And so they had to scrub the number. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, here we have the Bambino, the man from the same, the Babe Ruth set the bambino the man and there he is with kids a storied uh player that loved to be with people and loved to be with the crowd here's what the back of those cards look like and then there's some nice little reading on the back there you can pick up a story next up these are all from a page one binder page of babe ruth's and i just pulled them out of the page for easy showing this time here we go, related to the classic Red Sox trade that caused the 100-year curse. Yankees get Ruth, blockbuster trade. All right, and again, a very nice uh, portrait shot of Babe there. And here's the back, what it looks like. So the Yankees scored on that trade. And here is another Babe Ruth postseason pitching Hmm, Phenom. Here we go. Babe Ruth, a great pitching shot. So there we are. Look how young the guy is. Many people forget Babe had a heck of a bat, but you know what? He put up some World Series pitching records that stand today. So there is Babe Ruth postseason pitching. And here's a great shot also of the Babe as a Red Sox. There he is. Love this card. There, I don't think there are a whole lot of cards out there with Babe Ruth as a Red Sox. And so there he is. How do you say it? Do you say Red Sox or do you say Red Sox even when there's one? Hmm. Finally, 
from that binder page. Masterpieces. These are always a beautiful set. Let me take this out of the penny sleeve. They're textured like canvas and they come from paintings. And this is, of course, from the farewell at Yankee Stadium. Yankees bid farewell to the babe. The last time he wore the uniform and stood before the crowd in the house that he built. Tip of the hat to the babe. I've got a couple of pages of Babe Ruth's. This is just the first page, one page, but we'll see another page later. All right, let's move on and check out uh, one more page before we go. We'll see one more page. These are just like some assorted cards. Later, as I get deeper into the binder, we'll start to see some pages dedicated to players and we'll start to see a lot more, uh, uh, less um, tribute cards and more authentic. Here are some authentic. This is Red. I never know how to pronounce his name privately. Person in my head, I've always said Schoenheist. I don't know, Skond Heist or whatever, but Old Red, why did I collect him? Way back when I first started collecting, and like many of us, I thought I was going to make a ton of money in baseball card collecting. And I got a book on how to invest in baseball cards, and Red was one of the folks that they recommended to buy his cards. And they said especially buy his cards in his playing days. So that's one reason I picked this up. And the second reason, you may recall, I like to get the, the teams that are defunct or have moved. So also a double bonus there of Milwaukee Braves. Here's what the back looks like. Uh, forgive me, as I said, like uh, sometimes I just don't remember what year these cards are from. I don't know off the top of my head. But many of you who are very good at... Um, Baseball card collecting, you know what years these are right off the top. Here's a second red. Okay, playing for the Milwaukee Braves. And there he is as a young guy. And red also went on to be a manager. This is a 50-something, but I would just be guessing if I told you what year this is. And as you can see, a pretty decent card. A couple of dinged up corners, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. I've always kind of tried to get the best I can. Uh, but here, naturally, as soon as I say it, here's an exception because this card is pretty chewy. These I know, this is a 52 Bowman. This card's a little bit chewy, but I couldn't resist it because I love the image. It's so beautiful, this shot. Uh, just classic baseball, 52 Bowman. He's got the, the TV advertisement behind him or whatever. Little beat up. What are you going to do? Here's a better 52 Bowman that I picked up. Again, just because I love the imagery. And this one is a little bit better shape. I think I got this one at the National when I was in Chicago just this past summer. So that's what a better looking 52 Bowman looks like. Here we go. All right, cool, huh? Speaking of cool, how about Sweet Lou Johnson? Sweet Lou played for the Cubs, but I know him as a Dodger. And uh, I have a soft spot in my heart for Sweet Lou because uh, I bumped into him once at Dodger Stadium and he autographed a baseball for me. That was back in the days when I used to walk around the stadium with baseballs and pins and markers in my backpack just in case I might bump into somebody. And... That happened with Sweet Lou Johnson, and he autographed a baseball card for me. So here's to Sweet Lou. All right, moving on, we have Mickey Vernon from the Boston Red Sox. Just kind of loved the classic pose. Didn't pick this up for any other reason. Love that card. Here's the back. Oops. Don't you just miss when uh, Tops used to, you know, give us all the career stats on the back instead of all kind of crazy graphics and you know, check out this website and whatever the heck. I like it when they show the career stats. Early win, some of these I pick up just because um, the names are familiar or they are Hall of Famers, like I mentioned. Here's the back of early wins card. And, you know, once again, decent shape, you know, doesn't hurt to pick up vintage when you can get it for cheap and get it in good shape. Here's Kurt Flood. 
St. Louis Cardinals there. The back, Kurt Flood's got pretty sharp corners, pretty good corners there on this card. So I like this one. And finally, last card of the day, the Barber from the San Francisco Giants. Boo, right? Boo the Giants. Magley, the Barber, uh, later in his career, actually came over and pitched for the Dodgers. Why did I pick up his card? Because I like the guy because he earned the nickname The Barber. Why? Because he, his pitches were so close. They gave you a close shave, which I could use today, right? So here we go. Sell The Barber Magley. Last card of the day. Decent shape. Thanks a lot for joining. Tomorrow... Next time we meet, Social Distancing Diary, we'll jump back into Dodgers Vintage and see what we pull out of that binder. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.